Hey guys, if you're working with a really tight budget this year, I can't wait to show you the easiest curbside pickup DIY you can make really fast. And oh man, it is a big wow. Today we are making simple surfboards. Now you may know I am no stranger to the surfboard on Do It On A Dime. I have so many videos on them, which I'll be sure to link down below. But today I wanna to share with you three simple DIY ideas that make a big impact. And first we're gonna start with a charcuterie board. You need a giant pine wood round, which you can get for about 10 bucks. Mine is two feet. You can also get a one and a half foot option for just $6. And you need two front mounted drawer poles, and those are under $2. I'll have your curbside pickup cart linked in the description box down below, and no, I'm not sponsored. It's really important if you're making a charcuterie board that your wood is unfinished and untreated. All you have to do is sand this down. I use my sander for sake of time to get this really nice and buttery smooth. Don't worry, you can totally do this by hand. Just add some sandpaper to your hardware store order and you can also find it at the Dollar Tree. I started out with a 60 grit sandpaper and worked my way up to a 320. Next, I gave the board a food safe finish using mineral oil. You can get this from the hardware store, but it's way cheaper to get it from your local pharmacy, just a couple bucks. You can also use tongue oil, and I'll put a link down below to all of the resources of food safe finishes so you can pick the one that's best for you. These are the clearest instructions I could find. Once your board is dried or fully cured, you can add on your handles. And an additional fun option is a Lazy Susan turntable to the bottom. You can get these for under $5 from the hardware store. I love the Dollar Tree felt pads and I always add them to the bottom of my turntables. Let me know, what are your favorite things to put on a charcuterie board? My favorite cheese is brie. One of my tricks to always putting together a beautiful board is to add a little bit of green with dried fruit and sprinkle nuts in the in-between places. A favorite budget-friendly option is cream cheese with raspberry or habanero jelly on top. You've got to try it if you haven't. To clean your board, just wipe it down with a damp rag and a little bit of soap and prime it every now and again with your mineral oil. Next, I wanted to try a rich walnut stain using Dollar Tree products. All you need to do is take some steel wool and white distilled vinegar, pour it over the top, and let this sit in a mason jar for a couple of days, and then brush it onto your board. Make sure to let it dry between coats. And I did three coats on this project, and when it dried, it gave it this rich walnut color. So beautiful. And I love how it looks different every time, depending on the type of wood you're using and how long you let it sit. I finished it the same way by rubbing mineral oil into the board. And I love how this one turned out. It's so relaxing to make these. You really can make these in mass after you sand them down, turn on your favorite Christmas movie and get crafting. I decided to add a stencil to the top of this one using a dabbing motion. I don't know why, but this design reminds me a little bit of The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, which is one of my favorite movies. I think your heart might just grow three sizes by making one of these. Another option is to take Dollar Tree chalkboard paint and a Dollar Tree brush. These are two of my favorite finds from the crafting section. This paint is so high quality. I taped off one side of the board and then gave this a generous coat of the chalkboard paint. And now if you don't have a stencil or a Cricut machine, you can write on the chalkboard a personalized message. This is such an easy way to change up your surfboards throughout the holiday seasons. this video makes these DIYs easy and attainable for anybody. If you enjoyed, you leave it a big thumbs up and a comment down below. Man, am I grateful you are here. If nobody has told you today, you are enough and whatever budget you have, you can make it work. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. I think we have a charcuterie fan. Good. You're bougie, man. Are you excited too? Capto. You like the DIY.